I guess we'll do Shaman. Thanks for the best chatter, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, we got Lurker Below. Kidra's not better than Lurker Below, right? I don't think so. I've never really played with this card. I think I had it once. I almost never get this card either. Can you imagine having a pack where it's like you're not even looking at the Deathwing? It's a like golden Deathwing too. It's pretty cool. But, uh, you know. Usually, yeah, weapon. Well, that card's the same win rate as Vile Fiend, really. Every time I've had Molten Blast, it's been kind of crap. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather have this. Cultist. It's the best card, right? Hey Rusko, how you doing? These cards are all so good. Yeah, and I may have been unlucky, but like with Blast, every time I've like had it, I've tried it in a couple decks, and every time I've done it, I have never been able to combo with spell damage. I might have, maybe I've just been unlucky, but it's always just two, and it's just not good enough. It's, it's an okay card if you summon two, but it's just not great. I find Rumbler to be almost awkward. Yeah, like sometimes it's, I find it more of a downside than an upside a lot of the time. It's, yeah, it's the exact problem. Like it's hard to like, you have to like predict it and it's, you can never predict it because the game is very unpredictable right now. It's probably, I don't know. I think I just want to pick the flyer and we just be like that kind of like super remove everything shaman. Would like an earth shock, but this is helpful with the remove everything strategy. I don't know. Let's take the let's take the first earth shock. Just best card there by a ton. This card is just absolutely broken. Probably pretty nice to have one of these. Parade Leader does work with Dirigible. So it's actually kind of insane though. Maybe that's better than this right now. I know, being able to broom out of Faceless is pretty good. <laughs> we do have a lot. We have the Flyer too. I think we have enough Rush that we just take this. We'll take a Giant Taunt. I don't think Revolve is quite good enough. This is fine. Why is Dunk Tank an 85? Because, um... Light Forge is bugged. By, by, their, by their words, it's bugged. And it's been bugged for the last six weeks, but... I don't know. There is some value to the spell damage, given this. I'll try it. We're not really a Bloodlust deck. It's having an Ogre is pretty good. We don't have like a whole ton of uh, spells for the Pen Flinger. But we could also just use Pings. I like this card, and I feel like I don't like this card as much as most people do. It could be nice just to have the flexible ping, though, for, like, setting up Lurker below and stuff like that. I guess we'll try it. We 
What do the numbers mean under the cards? Since I get this question asked so, so often, I actually set up a button on my stream deck to put in exclamation point tracker into the chat. So I don't ever have to type it anymore. It's glorious. <laughs> yeah, every time I see this, I'm gonna get PTSD now. It's gonna be a problem. There's some potential for Evolve Synergy. We don't have any right now. I think I might take it for that reason. Because we already have one of these and we don't. Yeah, I don't want to go too light. This is fine. I don't have a Golden Scorpid, really. I might need to craft a Golden Scorpid. Yeah. Oh, we didn't take the broom. If we took the broom, maybe we would take this. This is still way better on curve because we skipped the other five. Can you imagine taking fire elemental when you have lurker below? <laughs> Just take a bad lurker below. It goes face though. I don't think we'll go for this. And right, we got the evolve. We still need a weapon for the custodian we have. This is kind of brutal though. Maybe an automated message. And maybe I should, uh... I don't know, there's too many words that people could use. It'd be really nice to have vivid spores. It's kind of interesting how much uh, the algorithms disagree on these cards. This card is just insane. Vivid Spore's note taker. Yeah, we don't have the note taker though. Yeah. We also don't have a crazy amount of curve. I'm not sure. Like this card I do think is a little better. The win rate is in case it's better. Win rates aren't everything, obviously. card really is like we kind of need a win condition right i'll try it you'd rather take the portal and then discover the spores but we this is the only spell discover in our entire deck this card's really good when you have runic carvings Okay, that's good. Statue is good, but you know, we still want more win conditions. Even though statue kind of is a win condition to be honest. I take Psychotron just for the curve here. Another flyer. Okay, we do want a weapon <laughs> given the uh Given the fact that we did take one of these. You know. I don't know. The weapon is fine for us. I do think it's probably the worst standalone card here. But yeah. A little hard to pass given the custodian. And then maybe we just take a heal bot here for another five. Seems fine. So we take the Corrupted Heal Bot so that we can Vivid Spores it and heal our opponent to full health. An excellent strategy. Okay. So I think this is a pretty good deck. Let me uh, grab a drink really fast. I'll be right back. Don't go too far away.
Got one of these cream sodas. Okay. <laughs> now it means our custodian doesn't draw anything, but we have a good axe into two drop. That's reasonable. I feel like I've pretty much never seen anyone play that card on turn one. First Twitch login in two weeks. Dang. How you doing, Aegirborn? Uh -huh. Your 2-2 two -two is no match for the Axe of the Stormforged. Bro. Get wrecked. So when are we going to get a bunch of totems out? Probably not anytime soon. We're probably going 4 into 5. Any news on the Dark Moon mini set? People are starting to talk about it because, I mean, we're expecting it to come in like the next, like, I think it's probably going to come in the next 2-3 weeks. But I don't think there's been any announcement yet. So, you know, it's all speculation still. Suddenly Hero Power seems a lot better. Izdo, thanks for the follow. Ajik Mamote, also thanks for the follow. But yeah, they haven't again, like they haven't announced anything yet. They're probably like, because I would expect like yeah, like around the twentieth, like that week, the week of the seventeenth, eighteenth, like that's probably when it's gonna come out. Maybe the next week. They'll probably announce it like you know a week before whenever it actually comes out. So. Till then, we have no idea. Ah, uh -huh, your armor <laughs> denying you the heal bot value. What is this warrior doing? He desires being overrun by totems. It's his fantasy. To just have a bunch of to a searing totem just smack you in the face a bunch of times. He just he just likes that kind of thing. He's kind of a weirdo, you know. Is what it is, huh? I mean, just he just like thinks about getting seared and stuff. It's just oh, it's great. I feel like if he had a slam, it would fly out of his hand. I don't know, maybe he would try to greet it. Okay, well, that's... It's basically a slam that doesn't draw a card. Okay. I guess we'll do this. We're not doing any kind of shaming. We're just, uh, just, it is what it is. We just let him, whatever he's into, it's fine. No problem here. We don't judge. We are a judgment free zone.
We actually have a serious problem if he's a, as slow as the deck as it seems like he is, because um, he's just going to outvalue us. We don't have great ways in this deck to actually unlock value out of our totems like a bloodlust, like a flame tongue totem, like, you know, other stuff. We have this statue, that's about it. Judge free zone. Oh no. Alright, this chat needs a little bit of order. You can honestly just ignore it for now and just play this. We will hold the Black Temple. There are possible punishes. Punishes are very uncommon though. That's fine. Janox, thanks for the follow. It's like as long as the uh smug senior doesn't die and he doesn't like copy it or something randomly, um we can still earth shock it next turn. Um Really annoying. We don't need to earth shock that thing. Yeah, we can still earth shock it. Trying to knock him off board enough that we can actually get a vivid spores that would actually be like significant. <laughs> but I mean, we're basically all winning at this point, and if he board clears us, we just lose. Hey, Carnival. It's like we just don't have a great, we don't have like such a good play that we're gonna suddenly be able to. Oh, that's fine. I would have liked to get the, uh, would have liked to keep that, but that's fine. Alright, we're in pretty good shape then. I don't think, I don't think this thing's a big concern. We could just kill it anyway, though. good that's just so difficult to uh deal with the only reason i was even thinking about this is because i had someone do this to me and i was like holy crap that's unbeatable <laughs> i was like i guess i lose
you just guarantee that every totem you get is going to be insane now and you keep the totems alive, you keep this thing alive. What, what do you do about it, right? You need a hoot hoot. What do you mean you don't got a hoot hoot, Mr. Warrior? Got a problem? Oh, fuck. I kind of deserve it, don't I? <sighs> Got something better than a hoot hoot. He does have a... Yeah. Yeah. You know, we just dropped Pro Drake. I guess we're ignoring that. It's really bad though. What the fuck? This guy's already played three legendaries. The first one was randomly generated, but still. What was it even generated by? Transfer student, right? Oh, that's not bad. Oh shit, it is bad. We can't corrupt it. Um, hmm. Just wait on it. God, this guy's deck is insane. Two Reaper Scythe, the best legendary his class has access to. Stage Dive, Minefield, Shavara. No, this is a zero zero. Yeah. We all know that the zero zero game is always the hardest game of the entire thing. This is what we have learned. We really need to draw any kind of uh, corrupt. Nope. We have to get through that at some point. This is the game where you need the eye of the storm and we don't have one. We have a steward, we have a proto drake. He did just waste his, uh, his cleave here. Not really a waste, but let's him full clear us and Shit. why do you not play that first? He's making like really bad misplays just to BM us at the same time.
What the fuck? My god. This guy basically just drafted actual control warrior. Turns out that game was completely unwinnable. We had to... Well, we just had to draw Proto Drake like five turns earlier than we did. We had to draw Proto Drake right after he played the Silas, basically. This isn't actually that good. No, like if we if we positioned around the Silas, we still lose that game 100% with how we drew. It didn't actually impact the result. I'm pretty sure he could have just killed the thing that we would have put around it anyway. He still would have been able to steal it. He just wouldn't have been able to steal it that turn, maybe, if we positioned optimally knowing that exact card was in his hand. And we would have simultaneously, by doing that, guaranteed that we would lose to a rabbit. So, it's like, you know. Do we actually play this in not totem? I think I like that, actually. Totem now. You just totem and you just don't get the one one, right? <laughs> don't get the one one. Maybe we maybe we hold on it honestly. I don't think we want to um I don't want to axe because we can coin this and then play axe and that's kind of insane. I guess the totem right now honestly just doesn't help us so we'll just hold it. If we get the 1-1 one, one, it's a disaster. If you get... If you get like taunt or heat or spell damage then it just gets damaged and might not even be worth it anyway. I think we will totem now. No matter what. Yeah, via healing, it's fine, assuming he doesn't buff and kill it. But... but you're also not really gaining anything. don't want to miss that damage. I was like, let's be honest, odds are he's going to like flyer it down or something. And then you're just missing seven. You want a race, bro? It's a race you want, eh? We could vivid spores it. Honestly, kind of expecting he would uh, siphon it, but uh, he did not. 
We're actually just one off lethal. Maybe we just Lurker Below. Lurker Below just makes sure like we don't randomly die to like a double soul fire or some kind of BS like that. You can also Argent his face and put him to one. Commander isn't actually any better against hard removal because he could still, even if you go face with everything, he can still kill it if he has like a hard removal. I guess he'd prevent a brittle bone if you put him to one. As is, if he does tap pillar bone, he's dead to the Argent. It's probably fine. Nice. Against a guy that's in the t in the event, actually. I imagine he's actually doing his runs right now. Somewhat unfortunate. We did it. I wish I was ever offered this card when I played Rook. It's actually kind of funny, like this card used to be so good. This card actually feels so bad so often though. Given that we have the flinger, it's okay if we give him this. Nope. Dumb ogre. It's supposed to go fish. Doesn't know the place. We could fire elemental too. But I kind of like getting the uh, 
Psychotron out while he's not getting like hideously outclassed by the board. Like he usually is in this meta, because things are just so much bigger than him. How you doing, Oops, Dezen? Hmm. It's obviously a pretty good dunk tank. I'm not even sure if it's worth it, though. Because it could get uh, better. We could just, like... Carvings or Commander. Don't want to fire Elemental because he has the 5 2. I actually like doing this. Refusing to give us the sickest dunk tank ever. How are you doing, DC Wolf? No! My totem! Oh, he's that kind of dark. Okay, well. We will have to dunk tank now. Actually, we might just earth shock now. So earth shocking this is really good value. Then we just play the fire alley. Saving the dunk tank, the dunk tank for next game as normal. Head crack. Oh no. That's good. No poison. No deadly poison weapon into our face yet. Saving the profit for next game as well. What the hell is in his hand? These two cards have been in his hand the entire game. What is in his hand? It's really bizarre. If 
Might have been more burn. Like maybe one of them was an eviscerate. I don't even know. Is it possible it was two eviscerates and he just wasn't quite there? Maybe. I guess if you're gonna play Cthulhu, you might as well be Demon Hunter. If you're gonna make, if you're gonna shuffle not that great cards into your deck, you might as well do it in the class where all your cards you're being offered in draft right now are worse than it, right? Like the Cthulhu cards are actually. If you're playing like Shaman, it's not at all true. But if you're playing Demon Hunter, these cards are like actually better than a lot of Demon Hunter cards right now. Just because Demon Hunter doesn't get a lot of their good cards. I enjoy when my two mana hero power gets traded for his one mana hero power. Yeah, great. Actual control demon hunter, not like those. I think given this draw, I'll go ahead and keep this until we can actually pull that off. Uh, hopefully we just play this on six. Okay, I guess we'll just do that now then. Surely our 7 drop isn't going to be complete crap. Can you imagine getting a Bog Creeper in Wing Guardian meta? <laughs> the good thing is he, doesn't, he hasn't corrupted an elephant yet, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, he's just dead. He's just dead now. Wait, if we carvings... The problem is if we carvings... If this thing snipes this, then we can't kill them off. And then we get memed. We're just gonna have to spores, that's the safe play. I, wonder. I don't care if he cycles. Yeah, as long as this thing doesn't die, I mean, it's like, I don't know. He could, like, silence this and whatever. But... You need to, like, silence cycle. And even then. The good old inner demon just to uh, take six face damage to set up lethal. Nine face damage, my bad. Nice. Nice. Not bad. You asked for it. For How are you doing, Romanus? Thank you, thank you. Oh.
guess we'll go with this. We can go coin custodian if we want. The problem is then we don't have a turn three play because we'll only have two mana. Yeah, we only have one weapon in this deck. So anytime we can play this, but we don't play it, we might draw the weapon. Okay, we didn't draw the weapon, that's that's good. If he trades with that, we may just, uh, we may scorpion it. Okay, I might just pen fling that now. Risk of a uh, counter spell, kind of significant. Uh, we might get rigged fair game to though. Hey, like, I don't think we axe his face just to play around that. Oh. Okay. That's fine, I guess. It's kind of annoying because we didn't want to overload because, um, you know, now we can't play a four here. So that was kind of bad for us, but I mean, the fact that you played a four mana four two kind of um, recovers it a bit. <laughs> and the fact that you played a counter spell, it didn't do anything I think I think it's fine oh jeez So to keep track, Mage is a class where this card can be really good if you have the right kind of cards. If you hold on to this, you're potentially getting wrecked by a deep freeze. Pretty high likelihood you would have it then, so. You know what? Fine chat. I'm gonna play around Silas Dark Moon. Are you guys happy? This better be happy. Or else chat's gonna bully me again. Chat always bullying me. We're not happy. Stop lying, you are happy. You know you're happy. Telling these lies like that. Yeah. Drafted Vaporize, by the way. <laughs> it is like, uh, yeah. There's still a card that exists that's called Polymorph. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that. I've done things like that, but man, yeah, trading Claw Machine into a 3-2. Uh, Yikes. Nice.
Dick Ancestral. Well, the thing is, like, he pretty much needs, I, I don't know, like, there's probably nothing he could do from that position. The way he would win would be, like, a bunch of freeze and taunts, and then you can just evolving the taunts. You, the Ancestral, you don't even really want to put mana into, unless you can actually get a, uh, let me just keep this. Why not? Unless you can trade off the 7-7 seven, seven into something so it can't get polymorphed. Feel pretty bad. Yeah, I was like thinking like I'd feel really dumb if I lost a draw. If I lost a draw for this, trying to keep the clacker. Ideally you'd have both, but you know. I guess we coin twos with this hand. We never earth shock our own guy, right? Especially now with spell damage. We're playing actual freeze mage. Really wanted the roll for the heal totem. Did not get it. Tragic how we can't corrupt this stuff. If, you pl if we had we played the dirigible, it could have worked out better as far as the Shavar wouldn't have been quite as good. We were really unlucky rolling the one totem that only had one health.
Yeah, problem. That means we can't play Proto Drake. Be fine to play this, right? How's those guys playing? I was honestly expecting that to be Ice Barrier. Chill. already uh right. counter spell was the least likely secret of all the options so i don't think it's correct to respect it in that spot <laughs> Even an arcane explosion is good enough for him at this point. Okay. Cool. We've been really good about drawing this profit on curve, actually. Hello. Excellent uses of points by people in chat. Excellent. Most excellent. Hmm. 
Do we want an axe here? I think so. Hello, garbage boy. Are you saying didn't hello him? Yeah, we don't we don't hello these people. Hello, them. Maybe I should hello. Eh. Nah. That's kind of annoying. I think we may. This is okay. I'll keep the pen flinging around, I guess. The classic incredible. I'm pretty sure when you're playing Shaman, you have to tell him the elephants will destroy him. That's the appropriate thing to do. Where's our earth shock? It feels kind of like we're too low to not be trading right now, unfortunately. Trading there. I'd rather not go into double fireball range on turn six. Rather not. Okay, well. He'd better hope he has two polymorphs. Which is pretty hard because now he can't even draw polymorph. Oh god. Oh no. He could draw other things. That's that's fine, I guess. Now we smirk. This guy's deck is all built around this. And his hand is all minions. Okay. Well. He does have board clear. I mean, not board clear. He, he can clear the taunt. He did it. I mean, we just set up lethal. Oh, 
Kenshi Wan, thanks for the follow. This is Mur, thanks for the follow. Hmm. Oh, Fusion's only the totems you have, right? Yeah. Imagine if it was all the totems on either board. He's saying he turned all his deck into deep freezes and flame strikes. But the reality was his whole deck was arcane explosions. I mean, not arcane explosions, arcane missiles. And then they all turned into fireballs. Right? One mana fireballs. Oh, jeez. And then he turns his flame strike into a uh, puzzle blocks. Oh, no. Biscuits. Thanks for the fall. Oh. This card feels like... Every time I use this card, it doesn't really feel like it does all that much. And every time everyone else uses it, it feels really good. I don't know. Weird. We just want to snipe that. Maybe. Uh -huh, now it's our turn. I feel like that's exactly what all my Molten Blasts do also. They deal one damage <laughs> and then they don't do anything. Okay, um... Uh... So the problem is our Flaming Faithless gets hexed every time, right? When it gets hexed on curve, it feels kind of bad. But I mean, it's always going to get hexed and it's always going to be really bad, so um, I don't know. Surely nothing bad happens. No matter what, it's like you can scorp it first, and then. Yeah, then you can still play the 7 7 afterwards. But then, if you overload on that turn, you're blocking your fire elemental turn. I guess we're still blocking our fire elemental turn with the axe, aren't we? Not with that, we aren't. So where does the magic come from? To the face we go. No bloodlust to clear our guy. Comes a lurker below. Ah, oh, weird. His lurker below only dealt three damage. That's odd. Hmm. Why did our lurker below not full clear? Oh, because we did it in the wrong order. Our bad. My mistake. He really needs to figure out this taking 7 damage per turn problem he has at some point. Doesn't seem like a sustainable thing.
Dude, honestly, because we know he doesn't have a hex, we could just play this. But he might still top deck it, who knows? So you're not playing around Silas anyway. Well, I don't know. So you could send it all face and then technically you set up lethal. <laughs> Good night, Survivor. That's weird. He didn't say, Behold the Dark Moon Fair! Give me a quick restroom break. I will be back in one minute. Don't go too far away. I think we, you could, you could keep like a really low hand with some refill, but low curve hand, but eh. Let's get this kind of refill. Last time we did this, it worked gloriously. I passed around three of the event. Um, I should have, yeah. Unless all of my tickets got taken away by penalties for not reporting things properly, but. Yeah, I had enough wins. I had like, um, we had like close to 30 wins in round two. Probably like 25 to 30. You only need like 16, I think. What's the deal? You can't really do anything with their two drops right now, I feel, because they're just going to get eaten. I don't know, this doesn't feel great either. Doing the flyer. So we just can't really deal with this efficiently right now. It's not the biggest problem in the world though. I guess. When does round three start? Um, Probably like two days from now, I think. Something like that. The rounds are pretty quick. They don't give a lot of time. I think round two is only like 60 hours long. Or no, it was like... It was like 80 hours long, something like that. Like three and a half days. Kind of need a bump here so that he doesn't have the uh, clean trade.
You may regret that. Oh my god. You may regret that too. Earthshot cultist, right? Oh, I just realized. Um, you know, we just don't cultist then, right? Because we need to get this. I oh, know I should just cultist first, but uh, whatever. Yeah, we just don't. I'm just gonna not cultist now. It's fine. For some reason I yeah, I didn't think it through all the way. It's fine. Cause you can just get this spell damage, but we could have just cultist first and then done the exact same play. Doing this in Totem isn't that much worse anyway. I mean it's a bit worse. That's good for us. This means we can't play Vanguard. We could just go for the Cultist now. Either way, we can see what we get first. It's kind of weird because if you play this, you kind of play around the Librem. You block him from being able to Librem this. You force him to take the damage potentially. You may want to delay the Librem though. Try this now. Maybe shouldn't have put that on the far right. I will not play around Silas, I refuse. Okay, that doesn't really solve his problem. He still can't hero power. Say this one is a secret, I guess. He knows that this 2 1 is a. Actually, no, he doesn't know because we didn't play this one. So he doesn't know that we can get more value out of that. Not that he would necessarily be able to do anything about it. That you know. Not bad, not bad. It's been a while since we've drawn Lurker below. Just saying, Dak. Just saying, maybe you wanna give us a Lurker below or something? Maybe, just uh, maybe? I 
think I like keeping one good mid game card just to um, if we get a bunch of corrupt stuff, it'll it'll be active. Does the deck have a lot of value? I mean, it's not like this deck has a. I feel like we've just been like out tempoing people really hard. It's not like we have a whole bunch of. We do have a pretty good amount of value, but like you know, we're ending games with like. Relatively empty hands for the most part. We're not really winning with value as a win condition. Yeah, what's been happening the last few games is people have not been able to deal with a big minion we play, and then we just smack them in the face a bunch of times. Yeah, it's kind of rude. Um. Just giving no respect to Hex at all. Seems about right. So we play Cultist, we hope he doesn't trade, and then we... Just get the sickest lurker blow ever. Maybe. If he trades, we would get lurker blow. If he doesn't trade, I mean, if he trades, we still have the Argent Commander, right? Not bad. Not bad at all. Now that's what a Lurker Blow is supposed to do. Fire Elemental, I need you to take notes. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe we go five and one here. We want to make sure we have good bodies against the uh, the spectral senior we know he has. So that's kind of the role of this guy. Play a commander, you do keep this guy healthier, but again, like you, you kind of get wrecked by the uh, spectral senior. Then that's gonna take literally a million damage. Is it ever better to statue? We kind of want to do this because we would want to find the burn at some point. If we even get like a wind fury, dude. We could evolve this guy. <laughs> we could bloom this out even. Maybe we evolve this guy. Hmm. Pretty good. All right. 
still has the wand maker spell it could be a uh we will hold the black temple. could be uh devolving missiles looks like it is not I think we might just commander this so we don't have to take the damage. Alternatively, you just say we're not gonna die and you just uh, ax it. Go down to eight. It's just, we, that's pretty low. Like he, if this is a lightning bolt, which it might be, we would just die. Just do this. You could have played instead of using this, you could have gotten this guy out. Could have been better. Oh my god, he's killing that. Of course. Yeah, I finally get to have a golden Silas at least. Oh right, I, I was thinking we had 10 mana, we only have seven. I guess we'll play this now. would he be not playing maybe he got like a primal fusion or something that doesn't really help him primal fusion yeah We are really bad at rolling totems today. I dare you. Should be fine. Four mana, ten, ten. That seems uh, fine and reasonable. It sounds like a blizzard. It sounds like a card blizzard should reprint without overload, right? Four mana, ten, ten. Just no text. Seems fine, right? be totally fine. Thanks for the follows, guys. <laughs> Another rock biter would be bad. I think if he had to, if he had a second rock biter, we were just dead the turn he played the first rock biter, I think, right? Where are my bands? Band X has been redeemed. I don't know where my bands are. Hmm. I've been moving around my room so much because of uh, <laughs> me building my computer and stuff. I mean, look really fast. Job done. Yeah, I don't know where it is. 
I will just refund the points. I don't know where it is. I can't find it right now. View request view. Rejected. You could draw it. Yeah, you always could draw it. Is this the Omega of the Titan? This is the uh, Titan, right? I believe so. It's it's the middle one. Yeah, yeah. This is the uh, Titan. They also have the Titan XL. It's not the XL. The good old do nothing warrior. We've been seeing a lot of these. Got a new PC? Yes, I did. Built it myself. I was planning on like just upgrading my old PC part by part, but then I realized like when I was gonna like have to replace the motherboard for the new CPU, for the new CPU, I was just gonna have to like, it was gonna be. <laughs> Probably easier to just rebuild the whole thing. But that's what I did. So here comes the brawl. <laughs> Inevitably, Corvo, thanks to the phone. Rip my board. I think specs works. It's not really a necessary fire elemental, but I think we'll do it. Just to keep the pressure on. There's gonna be some turn where he's gonna have to play taunt, it looks like. In the turn that he taunts, we play Earthshock and then he's died, and then he should die, so it should be perfect. Chose all the components by myself. Yeah. I chose Intel over AMD because honestly at the... I feel like if you're not going... If you want to go like relatively high end, I felt like Intel was actually just better as far as I could tell. I think if you're only gaming... Actually, no. AMD's... Intel's better for gaming too, right? I don't know. Like, I think AMD's better at the lower price points, but Intel... I just didn't see value at... AMD at the price point I was looking at. Um, so we have no lethal because none of our stuff goes face. We could try to rip lethal off the steward, but I feel like just playing with lurker blow makes more sense. Cause I don't know if there's something, there could be something I'm just missing, but like, I just didn't, it just didn't seem like, uh, maybe it was the fact that stuff was overpriced. The AMD stuff might've been overpriced because of, you know, just the situation in the world and a lot of people were ordering PC parts and maybe the AMD stuff was just way more expensive than it was supposed to be. But it seemed like AMD stuff was pretty expensive for what it was. Because I was also like looking and I was like looking at the the CPU I got and I saw it drop on Amazon and I was like, oh, okay. Because like, I think the CPU I got is like 400 on Amazon if you buy it right now, but I got it for like 320. So when it dropped, I was just like, okay, thank you. One 
of the things was is like which i didn't do all the research on it might be like even if the cpu is around the same price you can probably as you say like you need a better cooler probably so like maybe you save money on the motherboard and stuff around the amd cpu so it's possible i could have been more efficient on that but i don't know good cpu for hearthstones 60 fps dude it's the greatest thing though i don't drop a frame ever again unless it's my internet but you know my internet got way better too because of the uh my old motherboard was using a really old wi-fi protocol now suddenly i posted on my twitter because my um we have really good internet here but i i could only use like i only had like 20 over 20 on my old motherboard because i was using such an old wi-fi protocol and now it it went up like 10x now my internet's literally 10 times faster just because of the motherboard so whatever the wireless card is on it the wi-fi card I mean, graphics. Yeah, I, I just, I actually just pulled the graphics card out of my old computer. I didn't buy the graphics card. I'm using the same one. Because that was like the only piece of like modern technology in that computer. So, <laughs> other than the solid state drive too. I mean, hypothetically this works, right? Because every other thing, like every other part of that computer other than the solid state drive, which I didn't even have as the boot drive because I didn't want to go into that computer. Everything else was like five years old. Yeah, the graphics card probably will be. I think it's, it's going to be my bottleneck now, probably. If I ever actually test it, obviously I don't need to test it playing Hearthstone, right? Like, I don't even know how to, like, overclock my PC right now. I'm, I'm, I'll figure that out when I feel like I need to. But, like, I don't think I need to for the time being. <laughs> but, yeah, the graphics card, probably, like, I'm thinking, like, two or three years from now will probably be when I upgrade it. And I'll just get something, you know. But I don't know. This is kind of bad, actually. Because <laughs> we can't kill that. That's actually kind of sick in this spot. <laughs> okay. How did I figure out it was an old protocol on the motherboard? Well, it's because like on if you go to like your Wi-Fi settings, I didn't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the um, it was using like 802. I think it was using 802.11n, or it might have even been. I don't think it was BG. I think it was N, and like. I was trying to get like little like USB plugins to make it go on AC 802.11 AC, but it just wasn't. They were never working that great. Oh my god. Okay. But um, yeah. Now it's using 802.11 AX, which is like I didn't even know that existed to be honest. <laughs> so it was just like the modern wife, a more, much more modern Wi-Fi protocol. I don't even know if protocol is the right word exactly, but, you know. Amazing. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. To the face! Yeah, the only thing that sucks is that we can... Kind of losing this whole turn is pretty bad.
Ryzen's really good for streamers. Well, that's a thing, like, because, like, that's, I forget exactly, but that, the way it is, right, like, Intel gives you, although I think the new gen of Ryzen that's coming out soon is going to have a much higher clock speed, but typically Intel has a higher clock speed, right? So it's better for gaming. If you're playing a game that that matters, not all games that really is the most relevant thing. I wouldn't actually. I'm still gonna do this for you. Yeah, okay. It's gotta be vape now, right? There's no way it's not vape. Want it be rigged fair game and not vape, and we just get completely jibated. But, um, because I was also, for editing, I wanted a bunch of, I think it was probably pretty comparable for, um, multi-thread. Because I care about multi-thread also, because of, like, video editing and stuff. And I just felt like those two things combined, I thought Intel at, the pri at that price point was just, at least the prices I was seeing on, like, online, it just seemed better. Here's the problem. It would be amazing to go fishy flyer vivid spores, but it might get counterspelled. Safer play would probably be to just slam Proto Drake. Resin has way more threads. At most price points it does, I think, um... If you get something as high as, like, the, the 10700K like I did, I mean, this is still an 8 thread, so... Or a 16 thread, I mean, so... At the higher price point, I th it seems kind of the same. I think if you are looking lower price point, it's a lot better. AMD. I don't think I'm willing to lose to a counter spell right now. I don't know how we're ever. We need to like draw a one mana spell so we can just not worry about it so bad. Can we just play a double flyer here? So I was gonna like play Psychotron to block this because we kind of need to trade this because otherwise it gets value traded, but. Probably better just play this now. at the point now where we can just go for the spores and if it gets countered it gets countered it's not the biggest concern You could also, like, if you knew it was counter, the thing was, is, like, we didn't really know it was counter either. If we knew it was counter, you would play the dunk tank, I guess, right? But we didn't know that either. So it's still kind of worth going for the upside, I think. Fuck.
coming down the mountain, by the way. How bad is it if it's Spellbender? Pretty bad. We could do these next turn together. So I guess we save that combo. Yeah. Sixty hertz. Can't the human eye like literally not detect the difference between anything above like once you're at like 120, aren't you basically at the best resolute the best frequency your eyes can even tell a difference at? Maybe it's like 150 or something. I'm pretty sure once you're at like 200, like you literally will not ever be able to tell the difference. At least I saw something. I remember I saw something online. It could, or it wasn't. It was on like TV or something. Like they were saying, like you literally, your eyes basically can't tell the difference once you get past a certain point. I don't know exactly where that point. I don't remember where exactly where that point was though. It's just diminishing returns. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm sure like there's gonna be a slight difference, right? But like. Like, I, I'm not used to, like, I don't even think I can tell the difference between 60 and 144. Because I just don't have the, I don't have, to, like, educated eyes or whatever. Because I'm not used to even looking for it. Tell difference in FPS games. I probably don't have great eyes for FPS games, honestly, because I just don't play them. It's probably part of why I'm not good at FPS games. <laughs> You've got me fired. We need lurker below, like literally right now. Okay, that that could help. Storm. We could just bloodlust that. I mean, that's really sad. I don't know. I guess he would Earthshock. I do remember because I have like my monitor by default would I think any monitor I have a 144 hertz monitor and I put it to 60 and I think I do remember seeing some kind of a difference when I was like comparing mouse movement because I, I think I did that same test but from what I remember but I mean it's like I don't even know if this game can this game even go to like I don't even know if this game goes to like what FPS this game will play on but like I, I, I don't think I would ever notice a difference if this was not
I'm not playing on 4K. Well, I, I'm on 4K because like one of the features of the graphics card apparently is that you can use a high re resolution. It'll encode on a, re a higher resolution and then downsize it, but it'll still be higher quality supposedly than if you, uh, as if I just had it at 1080p. I have a 1080p monitor, but supposedly it's it the technology lets it do that. So it's supposed to be clear like this. I forget what that's called. It's something on the NVIDIA cards. Do we ever just keep this? We want to get on board. I guess we just play this first before we draw the weapon. We will not draw the weapon. Perfect. We're probably not going to play the weapon. I mean, we'll see what he does, but... So blocking our turn four is a little bad. If he does nothing, we can just play the initiate and then... Um, probably just cultist on four. And my monitors, I don't know, probably at some point, like, I think I'm done upgrading stuff for a while, but like, probably, well, I'm going to change apartments and then maybe not so much for the cultists. Maybe we just want to axe. Playing a four would let this be. Yeah, you know, actually, for the statue, I think we'll go ahead and play this. You know what they're saying? Yeah, I don't know. One of my next upgrades probably will be, I'll probably be like, when I change apartments, maybe I'll upgrade my monitors. But all my monitors, like, my left monitor, my chat monitor is like, I bought this monitor back in like 2013, I think. I think I bought this one in 2013. I bought, I have three monitors. This one in 2013. This one I probably bought in like 2016. This one I probably bought in like 2018. The, the one I actually have the games on. Something like that. I have to check. I can check actually. So if I make it at some point, I'll probably just get like. Maybe I'll even keep all the same ones. And if I could like mount up a giant monitor, like that would be the dream setup, right? You have like a giant curved monitor on top. <laughs> That'd be totally necessary. Yeah, actually this one was, uh, the middle one was 2015. The old one might've been 2012 even actually. I don't have record of it. It wasn't bought on Amazon. It was bought at like, I bought it like the Staples, I think. In college. Thank you, Owa. What's this? How you doing? Yeah, I feel like once, like monitors didn't used to be last super long, but once, basically once technology got to LEDs, I feel like, you know, it was just kind of like, they're obviously some of them are nicer than others but they kind of they don't really go bad or anything anymore once they got to led technology because if you bought one like 10 years ago and it's still like lcd instead of led like that might be a little different because those actually went bad i think Hmm. 
wasn't willing to take the risk there. So I don't want to play heal bot. It's a little weird. Guess we just kill the uh we can kill that ogre. Oh, that's amazing. Stack a diamond for him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't enjoy the, um, this was the meta where I was like trying. I wanted to play constructed just to like try it, but like, I don't know. I don't really. I kind of like I was hoping to like, go get legend but like I just got like so so bored. I got like halfway, I got to like platinum and then I just like didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> what was the purpose of that broom? Yeah, we're two off. Oh yeah, he wanted to broom the totem, but we got the uh, buff. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true, actually. I see. I'm not sure what we really want to do here. I see a kind of cheeky play that I kind of like. It's really hard to say what's best there because like depending on what he what kind of answer he has there are a lot of different plays that could be the best Fuck. yeah this actually kind of works out though I really should have uh, totemed first, huh? Fuck. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. You guys didn't see anything. Nobody saw anything. Does he have more executes? Okay, no. You did not see anything, Robopop. Pop. That was order matter. Cause um the um dunk tank is plus two damage on a single target with spell damage. So you wouldn't have I wouldn't have had to use my weapon. Probably not gonna matter in this game, it looks like. It's one of the things that like Dung Tank is so Dung Tank by itself is really good, but the way it works with spell damage is disgusting. It's even more efficient with spell damage than like swipe, which is already really good with spell damage.
you hope for synergy you pick cards that are good value wise generally speaking in arena you you generally value you try to take cards that are the best individually but you do you do consider synergy it's not the main consideration i think generally you want to take the better cards or the cards that at least fit in better in a deck but because you do think about you know you're kind of drafting it's kind of like you're building a deck right so, so that's a consideration but generally speaking the first consideration is just how good the card is Yeah, if you get enough spell damage with Dunk Tank, you just dunk their face and then you just take a Flame Strike and stuff. It might be a better Flame Strike even. It's kind of disgusting, that card. Too bad we don't have all the spell damage for it in this deck. Why is the final boss a priest? Guess this is a perfect curve. What heroes do I prefer in Arena? They're good ones. <laughs> Which changes depending on what one's Blizzard decides to make good. Right now, like I don't like Warriors much, even though Warriors really good. Um, Shaman, I'm not great with either, honestly. Although we were at 12 right now, or 11. Hopefully 12, but we'll see about that. Um, generally speaking, I do like uh, I've liked Paladin lately, and I, t I generally like Warlock a lot too. Do you get, generally speaking, the game tries to match you off of um, similar win-loss. It doesn't always do a great job though, especially if there aren't as many people playing Arena, it won't do as good of a job. But um like this was a this was a longer queue, so there's a pretty good chance this guy might only have like eight or nine wins. Or he could be 11 0, you know. We don't really know. This guy really doesn't like totems. I don't know if I've ever seen that strong of a response. Like, if we didn't have an axe equipped, I might do that, but into an axe? My god, that feels bad. Okay, we kind of need a play. Most of our deck is plays. Alright, this one time I don't want to draw Lurker below. One time. Perfect, okay. Damn, it's too bad we can't corrupt this. We'll get by. Parade leader. This combo doesn't actually work, unfortunately. It just doesn't work. Which, it feels like it should, but it doesn't work. Yeah, based off the wording, it should work. But what happens with Runic Carvings is it summons the Treants and then it gives them Rush. So it, does, it doesn't count as giving... As, they don't count as Rush minions. It feels like a bug, honestly. I think... I would argue that it's the wording on this code that is wrong. It says summon them with Rush, but it should, it should say summon them and then give them Rush. Yeah, I saw like Shady, I think I saw Shady Bunny do it too. We take the lurker below. March on. 
Not the cleanest, but... It's like, our Lurker Below only effectively deals 4 damage. Only 4 damage. Does it work for a thing from below? I think I think that works. Yeah. Thing from below says summon, right? Yeah, it's not play because it works with hero power. So yeah, I believe it works. Get the uh, psychotron out. Um, we can do both of these next turn if we want. It's the awkward thing, if we keep having totems, <laughs> do we need not totems that we can actually carvings for full value? Joke's on you. you, we don't have any AoE, unless he just got freaking, oh god, he just got dunk tank, didn't he? Not like this. Tank is the card we need right now. Yeah, the Parade Leader Derailed Coaster combo. Yeah, that's a pretty good combo. <laughs> Derailed Leader Expendables. Oh, God. I think Expendables pretty much got removed from Arena. <laughs> Yikes. We get the 3 4 back. Wow. Yeah, but we get the 3 4 back. At least he solved our problem. He's just assuming he's dead, but he's actually not dead. This guy's like, Keck Wade, I'm not dead. He's still probably dead, but... Looks pretty dead. He just knows you can spec cards on the stream. Yeah, the, uh, the... Some deck tracker uh, overlay thing is pretty cool. Oh my god. I was trying to do both and then I forgot I was actually overloaded for. Right. It's okay, it's BM chat. There's actually no way he lives, so uh, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna. He would have to renew Soul Mirror, basically. It'll, it, it's fine. I just wanted to <laughs> make this guy s nice and stealthy. It was all planned. I was thinking about it too. I was like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna have six mana this turn, but it shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. It was all planned. I wanted the value on my rush quest also, okay? You see, you see this thing right here? Where is this guy? Gameplay? Where's the, I don't know where the hell this is. Like, where's the rush one? It's somewhere in here, right? I don't, I don't know. It, it's in here somewhere. 